Hello everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy X-2. Alright, I ultimately decided to meet you up here on the airship, eh, just simply because I eh, think it's a nice, uh, nice place to head up from. Also, I did, uh, after the uh, grinding last time, as you can see, I am at level 99, and yeah, I got uh, the abilities learned for pain, at least. Uh, auto Shell and Auto Protect. And obviously we did see uh, Riku and Pain, all, or uh, Riku and Yuna also learn Ribbon, so yeah, there we go. Yuna and Riku were actually pretty close to uh, get, getting to level 99 almost at the exact same time. I think maybe there was one battle difference, so yeah, that was kind of cool. But in any case, we've actually got one, per at least got one person with Auto Shell and Auto Protect with Mascot, so I'm happy. Alright, so uh, between episodes also I decided to uh, go through and prune my uh, accessory list here. So everything you see here is uh, the after effect, the uh, the uh, after effects. I don't know. <laughs> uh, what it looks like afterwards. So yeah, I'll have the the full list of what I sold in the video description. So yeah, it's quite a few again. So yeah, but and in any case, that's what we got. So let's uh, let's head out. We have unfinished business. In Bavel, well, I guess below Bavel, technically. So let's head back down there. And fortunately, teleporting down here sets us right at the Via Infinito. So yeah. All right, so I'm half if uh, fully equipped here, but uh, I unequipped all the accessories just so I could show you the uh, the full list of what I've got. But I'm gonna get everybody uh, fully equipped here uh, before we head in, and I'll be right back. Alright, so for Yuna, she's on High Road Winds with the Mascot Safety Bit and Shining Bracer here. For the Auto Protect, Riku, she's on Tetra Master with Mascot Safety Bit and AP Egg. Taking a bit of a risk here just to help speed up the process of her learning uh, Auto Shell and Auto Protect, so yeah. Otherwise, if you don't want to risk it, you can put the uh, uh, put a Shining Bracer here if you like, or the Defense Bracer if you prefer, so yeah. But I'm using the AP Egg just to help speed up the... Uh, AP grinding process for her abilities there. For Pain, she's on Tetra Master, Mascot, Safety Bit, and Speed Bracer. If I did not have Auto Protect Learn for Pain, I would probably put a Shining Bracer here or a Defense Bracer here as well. So, yeah. But she does have them learned, so we can uh, go other ways. So, yeah. Speed up her attack speed. Alright, and for abilities, yeah, we already kind of touched on this already. Learning Auto Shell for Yuna, Auto Shell for Riku, and Bushido for Pain. All right. One other thing I forgot to mention before we head down, came down here is I'd recommend having a healthy, healthy stock of uh, Phoenix Downs, and I figured, well, since we, since I'm going to be saying that, I might as well just top them out at 99 just for the sake of it. We got lots of gill, so yeah, I figured, yeah, just uh, I'd say try to, yeah, at least uh, I've got a healthy stock here, so I just topped up on the Phoenix Downs. I was short two, so I just bought two of them, but uh, yeah, Phoenix Downs uh, could uh, come in handy uh, later on, so. <laughs> All right, and I think that's pretty much it, so let's go. Just so I... Uh, this is a bit late, but I figure better late than ever, but if you ever decide to choose not the furthest you've gone from, as soon as you say choose from... I mean, start from zero... You wipe out all progress you've made up to that point. So if we, you know, obviously have to, I'm at uh, floor 40 here, but if I chose to start from zero, I'd be starting at zero. And if I escaped and I went back in, I would be starting not at floor 40. I'd be starting where I left off. So uh, after going in from zero. So yeah, figured it probably not a bad idea to mention that. So yeah. Anyways, here we are. Close to number 40. All oh, those pyreflies. And we are heading deeper into the cloister. Now, as soon as we get down here, Poo Poo Platter is no longer going to be as reliable. So, yeah. <laughs> All right, let's go. I don't even know what floor this is. Yeah, the Elder Drake. Fortunately, we've got Tetra Master already equipped, so let's go. This is where the risk is comes into play with what I'm taking with Riku, with the AP Egg. Yeah. So let's get to uh, Because yeah, he can still do quite a bit of damage to us, so let's just. Quartet knife. As long as he doesn't gang up on one girl, uh, we should be alright, but. Uh, Walja, should be alright. 
Unfortunately, things should get easier as Payne's Quartet Knife hits it enough times. Ow. Heal up. And let's proceed. Hey, it's the Zelamander. Oh, yeah, he's weak to ice. <laughs> I mean, into all four breaks, but, you know, still. Easy as pie. The extra AP is worth it on pain. Alright. Forty-two. We got the... This is the, uh... Yeah. <laughs> the one I said looks like uh, something out of Excitebite. Excitebite, yeah. So yeah. Suppose I could try to show you Poo Poo Platter at least once. Just to show you how much its uh, usefulness has degraded. And it still works somewhat, but it's nowhere near as accurate as it was before. Bastet isn't affected by it. Yeah. So we're just going to be attacking the from here on out. Kiss me. But yeah, uh, heading down this deep again, we're going to be going into some new, flo new floor layouts as well, so, yeah. Yeah, we're in the floors now where I start seeing some familiar boss faces as random encounters as well, so heads up there. There's even one of them that kind of uh, <laughs> caught, me, caught me off guard, but whoa, here's a new floor. Well, this one, let's head to the right. And north. And there is another, uh, you know how the Elder Drakes ha were actually visible, or at least were roaming the halls visibly here? Uh, there is now another one as well. And it is one we will eventually have to fight, but... This will help. 
there is a way to get around it to avoid it. And it is the vanguard of our destruction if we try to fight it now. So, uh, I, I want to at least try to get everybody's auto shell and auto protect learned before I attempt to take it on. So, yeah. But yeah, we will eventually need to fight it at least once. And not only will we need to fight it at least once, but it will have to be oversold. And I suppose I should mention this now. Uh, keep track of your Tonberry kill count. Oh, speaking of Tonberries. Hey, how's it going? Uh, is it a baby right next to it? Okay, I'll leave you guys alone. The exit's over here. But yeah, uh, you need to kill 16 Tonberries to get an oversoul. So yeah, I believe I've killed 9 so far, so... Uh, how are we doing at MP? Yeah, let's just head back here and touch it. Why risk it? Hey, mix. Thank you, safety bit. Oh, yeah, <laughs> the grenades. Yeah, you probably uh, got a lot of those when you were, you were fighting the uh, the Machina in that cave. <laughs> For the, the grind to level 99, you know. Alright, got this floor again. Alright, which means... Tonberry number 10. I should step on the glyph just in case before we head down. This floor. Alright, this one... If you follow the hall, you're 
probably be probably gonna think is this a maze or something well not really uh, yeah let's take the long way for the first time D it did fake me out the first time I got it too so So it's gonna go down and hit. Unlike the uh, the mocking the striker. Ooh, I would have taken out the mocking the striker anyway. <laughs> Actually, did we ever encounter the pop fry uh, in Spira? Oh, well, we just did. It's got less HP than the mocking the striker, so. I believe it can inflict at least darkness on you, so yeah. Hey, there's Auto Show. Alright, and it should go directly into Auto Protect, so. <coughs> A second. I've seen this before. We going in circles? No, just keep doing it. You know you're at the end because the camera follows you instead of changing. I'm not even going to bother changing my setup because we're already on Tetra Master. <laughs> <laughs> However, stay careful. Yeah, Riku doesn't have auto. Doesn't have protect up. Come on, Yuna. Hell, hurry up. Phew, that was too close. Now we need to heal up before he gets another attack on Riku. <laughs> 
<laughs> he didn't like Riku this fight. Wow, we actually didn't even get her revived. Oh. The risk I took of putting an APA egg on instead of uh, something that puts Protect up. Uh, yeah, let's use hers. Oh wait, she doesn't have life. Forgot about that. Yuna does. So you know what? Oh, I was gonna say let's heal up all the way, but I think we might get an opportunity right here. You and I do that. Do the honors. Everyone, stay strong. Worm. All right, Riku's back. Come on. There we go. Let's try this again. Where the heck are you dying? Hey, over side. Which means we need to get that up even quicker. Alright, she got it up right away. Good to see you. There's actually another variation of this flare as well, which could throw you off a bit, but since we aren't, I'm not changing uh, setups for the uh, Elder Drakes anymore, it shouldn't really cause too much of a problem. Just changes the location of the, uh, the second uh, Elder Drake. Uh, actually, you know what? Yeah, okay. So this one, so... Hmm, do I want to keep going or do I want to call it quits here? Hmm, how close are we? 68... She's about halfway. In pain. It's just is on her way. All right, well, sure, why not? Let's call it quits for today. Or, yeah, let's do a couple more. Or at least one more, anyway. <laughs> Sitting at 24 minutes or so, but, you know. We've only completed... Oh, well, I've got this again. <laughs> well, at least we avoided the... Well, no, we got a ton bear in this world, too. Never mind. <laughs> See how long it takes to get through this floor. I want to keep it below 30 minutes. I'm just trying to die. This 
There he is. Tunberry number 11. floor do we got here? We've got another Elder Drake. Uh, yeah, the exit's beyond there anyway, so we'll do another one. We'll just get a, a chain of floors and it's like, hey, we gotta go through the floor anyway just to get the exit, so. I don't know. Oh no! Ah! Uh, I wasn't paying attention. Uh, Walja. Knock his strength down while we do this. <laughs> Let's get Riku back up. Alright, that should, should at least be able to survive. Hey, there's another shell for Yuna. realize we probably wouldn't get the same floor if we came back. Oh, well. Uh, we got this one, I think, again. All right. So we're doing another one. <laughs> oh, and here we go. Uh, let's take a... Do that and then have you sell. Let's take out the big bully cap first. Because we're going to be here for a little while to take out the heavy sell. It. on this floor. Uh, actually, I think it might be up in the alcove off to the right there. I'll take a look. Oh, This is the part where you get hurt. Worm. Yeah, so much for keeping it under 30 minutes. <laughs> Oh, 
I'm a little more okay with this than usual. Just because, well, we didn't exactly... Well, we started on the airship, so... It did take a couple of minutes for us to finally to actually get down here, so... Extra floor or two. Alright, let's go take a look. Uh, over here. Nope. Nope. Alright. Must have been back at the beginning. Running low on MP as well. <laughs> I mean, worst case scenario, I could equip a couple of uh, wizard bracers, maybe. Or use another, less dangerous. Keep forgetting about that ledge. Alright, this floor. This floor! I'm gonna show you. See that big boy in the distance there? Yeah. That is the vanguard of our destruction. This floor is a bit weird. Gotta jump back. Go backwards. And go forwards. I know exactly where the uh, teleporter is for this floor, so. Might as well show you how to get through the, uh, the floor. But yeah, there... I will be avoiding fighting uh, that big boy. At least until we get Auto Shell and Auto Protect on all, th all three of us, so yeah. Alright. How's it going, Prince or Chief? <laughs> and King Takaba. Hey, and there's auto protect for Riku. Awesome. Switch it over the AP over to Yuna. We've got bigger fish to fry. On this decidedly extended episode. Alright. Let's take that off. Uh yeah, I guess we can put a speed bracer on her as well. And for ability, what do we want to learn? You know what? Probably instinct. <laughs> these, unlike unlike uh, Payne's uh, quartet knife, these do not do any damage. So, yeah, they're just... Yeah. So head down here. We did into another encounter. <laughs> Zuna's MP, st MP stock dwindles. Little guy, this is Tonberry number 12 for me.
And, oh no, the lift disappeared. Well, yeah. Okay, so the teleporter is off to the right there. Head over here. Climb up. Climb up. Keep your finger off the circle and try to be very careful as you do this. So you step, fall down here. There's the big boy. If you fall down, you're going to have to fight him. And like I said, he is the vanguard of our destruction currently. So how do you get by him? Well, hold circle and jump across the platform off to the, the bottom right there. And the uh, wall disappears and you can get out. Climb jump back up. Oh yeah, there's Jumbo Cactuar down here too. <laughs> He's the one that really threw me for a loop, loop when I first encountered him down here. As I said, we are eventually going to have to fight that big Tonberry. Of the mega variety, I guess you could call it. <laughs> have to fight it at least once, and not only that, it'll have to be oversold as well. So. Oh no, she didn't make it. Okay, good. Yeah, let's try again. There we go. So yeah, then you just jump off to the left there, and you can get it. You can get it. But I'm going off to the right because this episode is approaching 40 minutes. So. Hey, and there's auto protect for Yuna. Awesome. It was nice and quick. The constant healing for three AP a piece definitely helps me that up. <laughs> and for Yuna. I'd Probably say the next one I learn to be Arcana. Ooh, she really needs an MP. Yeah. Get the uh, Dark Knight uh, spells in there. Let's go. And there it is. Ooh, we're out of here. 28 MP to spare with Yuna. A little too close for comfort. But just enough, all the same. All right, so I didn't even pay attention to see how far we got there, so I'll have to definitely uh, put that in, uh, take pay attention to that when I'm editing, but yeah. All right, so we've made another significant push into the Via Infinito, and I wonder what awaits us the further we go. Obviously, we got bigger and stronger fiends, some terrifying, some not so much anymore. Um, and yeah, there's even one down there that you're definitely going to recognize from the Chocobo <laughs> Ruins. Yeah, um, be a bit of a surprise, but don't worry, it should be, you can use Walja if you like, but we're uh, in a dress sphere where it probably wouldn't be too much, I, know, I guess we don't need to worry about Walja, because all, uh, all three of us have auto shell and auto protect, so yeah, just take it out like you would any other fiend and you should be good to go, so yeah. Alright, the fiend I'm talking about is ultimate weapon, so yeah. <laughs> can run into him as an encounter, a random encounter down there, so yeah. In any case, in this extended episode of Final Fantasy X-2, we pushed a bit deeper. Still haven't, uh, well, we still haven't found Trema, I guess, but, uh, or what else could possibly be down here, but I guess we'll keep pressing forward, and maybe we will find him at some point, but in any case, this is Intrepid83 signing off, formerly known as Cyric1983. Thank you so much for watching. Please consider hitting the like button on your way out, and uh, definitely help support the series here. Series here, and I humbly thank you for your support in that regard. And uh, yeah, if you uh, haven't subscribed over there yet, why not head on over to my other channel, Intrepid83? See if there's anything there that could potentially earn your subscription over there. And if it does, well, I'll see you over there. And until next time, thank you all so very much for spending some time here today. Take care, be blessed, and have a good one.